next projects I'm getting ready to start on are pillows. I've already made this up in a little bolster and I have these new fabrics here. This is just going to be plain pillowcases that we'll actually sleep on. And then I bought this, not loving it. You can see how much green is in it. Of course, you won't see that tape. It'll be more like that. So I have to decide, I wouldn't, what, I'm not gonna put it on that one. I'm actually thinking about putting it on this fabric. So, and then I also have a lampshade. I have to decide which of these fabrics I want to become the lampshade. So we'll see. And it looks fine with this and it looks okay with that. So I don't know. I've got, I've already showed the fabric I know in a haul, but I've just finished this cute pillow. And these are actual pillowcases to go on the pillows that we actually sleep on. This is the softest, nicest fabric. I have this old lampshade um, off my bedroom lamp that is a dusty mess, but it also needs to be redone because I've changed out all of my bedding. And I'm going to use this fabric, I'm pretty sure for the lampshade. I know I'm gonna use it for the lampshade and for a pillow. So I'm going to just take off this old stuff that's actually, it's on here with um, hot glue. <laughs> I just hot glued this whole thing together. Trim and everything. If I can get this apart, and I'm pretty sure I can, um, yeah, it's coming apart. If I can get this apart, I could just use this for my template for the pattern again. I'm going to be kind of careful how I lay it out because I'd like to get a whole bird, I think one of these with some pink in it, right in the front of the lampshade. Um, I haven't bought trim or anything yet, so I'm not sure. Making pillows, and I'm going to do, or one with cording anyway, this one, my little bird pillow. And I'm just gonna show you the easy way. I'm only doing one panel right now. I'm not doing both because I have to have an opening where it slips through. It's easier if you go ahead and apply your cording to just one panel first um, and then sew it together. And then when you stuff it, it makes it a lot easier than trying to sandwich it in and get your cording right. So use a, uh, if you have a cording foot, that's great. You're not gonna find a cording foot as big as the giant cording I'm using. So the next step would be to go to a zipper foot you move your needle as close to the cording as you can so that you're sewing on the lip but right next to the decorative part. So I've got excess here just hanging out the back because we're actually gonna cross over and stitch them at the end when the pillow is finished. I'm at the bottom of my pillow and we'll see how close I can get. And what I'm going to do when I get to this corner is sink my needle in the corner, turn it and go. And that's it. I'm just gonna go all the way around till I get to the other end. I'll show you a corner, and then I'll show you when I get to the very end and I overlap my two pieces. Sink the needle, whoops. And just turn. Because I have such heavy cording, a sharp corner is not a real concern for me, as long as I stay on my fabric. Okay, I've made it all the way around the pillow, and I'm coming back to where I started. Here's my start. So I'm just going to do a little crossover. You can either cross over like this and stitch across it, or you can have them both go down at the same time. This is a really heavy cording, so I'm just gonna see how it does. I'm gonna go over it real quick and see if it, how it behaves with a zipper foot stitching over how heavy this is. We'll, we'll see how it does. Doesn't love it. It's partly because it's loosely woven and it's sticking a little bit on the edges of the foot. I'm across. Back into my old stitching. Don't know where I put my little scissors. Okay. So I'm just gonna show you, see how this one's taped? That's what I need to do to this one before I trim it off because it's so loosely woven, it'll just like bloom. So I'm gonna tape it first, then cut it.
Now, the taped pieces on this, I might trim off after I get it almost completely constructed, but for now, I'm gonna leave it all taped so I don't have any problems with it fraying or coming apart. Now I'm ready to take my second piece and do the sandwich. See how nice it looks though? It looks really bright in the camera, brighter than it does in person. So I'm gonna just take my pieces. Again, still using the zipper foot. So I've got birds. I'm gonna turn that off so you can see a little better. There we go, so I've got birds. So I wanna make sure I don't have upside down birds on this second side or sideways birds. So there we go, bird to bird and line up from corner to corner. I am gonna put a few pins in it just to keep everything on track and stitch around again. It's a little hard to see, but it's stuffed. I've got my seam allowance down here, so I just have to sew it shut at the bottom where I stuffed in the old pillow and I will have a new pillow for my bed. I got the um, old lampshade cover off. It was harder than I expected. Um, my hot glue stuck really well. So I've just laid it back down. I centered, this is the center front of what I would consider the center front of the lampshade and I centered it on a bird just so this will be the front of the lampshade and drew it, traced around it so you can see hopefully my blue line. Um, on this old one that I made, it's a little hard to see, but I actually stitched on a little bit of ribbon to help cover that raw edge. And I probably will do something similar to that. Um, I may just serge it, I don't know, but I wanna do something because this um, is loosely woven, not real loosely woven, but it will fray pretty easily. So I'm going to do something to do a seam finish on this. And I will also get, I haven't found it yet, but I'm gonna get some sort of trim to put around it. Um, I did notice on my lampshade. So here's the lampshade, you can see, um, I need to do a little cleaning up. It's got some hairs and stuff left from the this fabric, but I cannot get this off the bottom. It's really on there. So I could cut it away, which I may do, um, or I may leave it because it's actually, the colors aren't horrible with this. So I'm going to go ahead and um, wrap this around and just look at it and see how, see what I think. This is stuck on so well. And I don't want to destroy the underneath lampshade because it gives me base to continue to put things to. But look at this, it will not come off. So I may have to cut it away and, and cover it with something, but I may just leave it because the colors aren't terrible um, instead of having to buy a new lampshade base. All right, so I just cut it out. Still need to do a little trimming, but you can see that's the new lampshade. And I don't know, the fringe seems so fussy now, but. You can see my little seam right there. I just glued down one side, flipped around, folded under the edge and glued down that edge. So this was a completely no-sew project. I went ahead and just searched around the edges just to make it neat. Um, and then I did find, I'm just using up stuff I've got. I've got a single fold bias tape, so I might be able to use it around the edge to kind of finish it off. We'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this first. Get this going, I have my, my glue gun warming up here. There we go. Ooh, that looks not great, there we go. This glue gun I had to search the house for, it was in my son's closet. The thing when you're crafty and all of the family is crafty, my husband's artistic, my children are all artistic. We are just always creating around here that your supplies sometimes go missing. Sorry, I'm always hitting the camera. I'm sorry about that. I'm not always perfectly aware of what I'm doing <laughs> with my hands. I'm so concentrated on my project. Smooth, there we go, okay. Gonna tuck this under. Whoop. So I'm just gonna keep going around, sealing off these edges, making it smooth. And then I think I will take this and just lay it across the top here. Kind of like that maybe. 
I don't know. The last one I had a nice looking trim and I would really like to do that again. Um, it would mean either ordering it or going to the store and I'm doing my best to not go to stores. So we'll see. The least I can have something on my lampshade again. All right, I'm gonna keep working. I'll show you in a minute. All right, it's not beautiful up close, but we're getting close to being around. And I'm going to trim that a little long so I can fold it over. Not perfect, but all right. At least it's got finished edges until I figure out what trim I want to put on it. And actually the fringe isn't horrible. I've been patiently waiting for my trim to come in that I ordered and it's been um, like five days maybe since I last filmed on this little project, but it arrived. My, my order came in. So what I got, I went ahead and ordered this is from Hobby Lobby and these were on sale half price. So instead of $3.99 for this entire roll, I paid $1.99 and I got three colors, three very neutral, boring colors. Not very exciting at all. This one's almost white, sort of ecru and gray. So I will see which one I like better. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be this one. And then while I was, um, waiting. I was thinking about, I have, I made um, pillows, decorative pillows to go on the bed. I'm going to go ahead and open these and just lay them on while I'm talking to you. Uh, I made decorative pillows to go on the bed and I have one left to cover and I wanted to do sort of a combination of the different fabrics together. So that looks great. I still have this stuff under here too. Which is sort of I don't know, metallic-y. Um, but I, um, I think I figured out how I'm going to do the fabric combo on my final pillow to kind of bring the, um, the three fabrics together. I, may I haven't decided if I'm gonna use all three. I may only use two. I know I'm going to use the bird fabric and I'm going to use the, um, the one that I used that I made the bolster out of, it's sort of a coral colored twall type fabric. And so I'm gonna use the twall, that with the bird for sure. And then I may use the other one. It's my least favorite of the three. Let's pull this out. That's tucked in there really well. So I really, I like how understated that is. And then I think I might use this trim on there too. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. It's definitely between these two. I just don't like how dark that is for this project. But for two bucks, let's see, this was $2. And for the $2, I got five yards of this. So it will get used. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hot glue on this. Take off the tape. Let's see if my hot glue gun's ready. It is. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around, glue this on. I'm all, of course going to start back here at the seam. I'm gonna hide everything at the back as much as I can. Like this. And just cover the top and the bottom, make it a little, look a little more finished. And then I'm gonna work on the pillow. I finished the projects that I've made for my bedroom. Here's my little lampshade. It's a little wonky, but it's going to work. Um, my pillows, I have the bolster pillow that I made in another video, and these are just plain pillowcases that are going to go on the back. They'll hardly be seen, but they look better than what I have currently up there. Um, this pillow, I did go ahead and use this binding. I don't love it, but it's fine, and it'll um, look fine on the bed. And then this pillow, I um, pieced my different fabric, so I centered a bird, and then use this fabric, and then this is what the bolster is made out of. So I'm gonna go arrange all this upstairs on my room, and I will show you how it looks. All right, I'm just gonna show you 
the things in place. Here's my little lampshade. It actually goes with this picture I got a long time ago. At, I think Ross or somewhere. It's an inexpensive little picture. There's the extra pillowcases back there. They look really orange in the camera. And then there's all of my pillows on my bed. So I'm going to step back. This is a king size bed, but there you go. You can kind of see how it looks with all the things on it. And it just adds a little pop of color.